Well, here we are with uh, my 1996 North American spec Range Rover in the in the engine compartment, and we're gonna we're looking at the fuse box right now, and I'm gonna show you how to jumper a uh, fuse relay to activate the EAS compressor. And uh, if you look at the back of your the, the, the cover for your fuse box, you'll see hopefully it's still in focus. You'll see a diagram, uh, and we're looking at this one relay 20 for the EAS, and that relay is right here. I'm gonna pull it. The engine's off, by the way. Uh, make sure the engine's off while you're doing this. Uh, the engine should be running though while you're actually running the compressor. Uh, you just, otherwise, you'll you'll disable the battery. But looking at the relay, um, we want to jumper pins five and three. Uh, this side of the relay is the uh, high the high current side. And if you look at the bottom, you'll see pins five and three, and you'll trace that back to your actual plug here. And what I've done is I've created a jumper. It's just using some spade connectors, and I think it's oh well, maybe a 10 gauge wire. I think I don't think it's any any higher than 10 gauge. And you'll jump with the pins that you looked and that you located for the high current across the relay. And when you do it, the uh, pump will run. Usually, if you're going to let that run for a while, you know, 10 minutes or so, you make sure the engine's running so you're not discharging the battery. And that's about it, really. You obviously don't want to leave that in, otherwise the pump will overheat. But short runs of five to ten minutes are just fine if you're trying to get yourself out of a messy situation or to try to troubleshoot something 